Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Very good. How are you? Oh, fine. Thank you. Great. That's good. That's good, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And how was your day at work? Uh, not bad. I forgot a meeting this okay. day. And <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, my boss uh, didn't uh, didn't angry with me. Uh, yeah. Didn't get angry with me. Didn't get angry with me. Okay, actually. that's good. This is, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because uh, really I forgot the meeting. Yeah, but me more. <laughs> this is the edge teacher. No, come on. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> no, it's not. It, it's because you're too busy. That's why. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. And how was your day, teacher? It was good. Actually, it was pretty, pretty, not busy. It was kind of um, like I had a, like a bit, a lot of free time today. Uh, there weren't too many, too many meetings today. So it was good. I think it, it's because tomorrow it's holiday, so so everybody were like like very calm. So so it was good. It was good, and I'm super excited that I'm not going to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, it's good for all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm to tomorrow. I'm planning to rest, watch TV, rest again watch TV again, eat, and sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's my plans for today. Yeah, that's definitely going to, totally. <laughs> so let's see who else we have here. Rafael, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Very good. How are you? Hi, thank you. Good. How was your day? It was good. Okay. Good. Excellent. How about you, Irvin? How are you? I'm fine, thank you, teacher. How was your day? Uh, really exciting. Really? Yeah. What do you do? Well, uh, I've been practicing my English. Um, I have um, download an application where I can see some little reviews oh. and little phrases that people used. So I'm learning those phrases and trying to apply them when I am speaking. That's good. Excellent. And what's the name of the application? Uh, movie Mytho. Oh, okay. So it yeah, like yeah. show you the like parts of movies and exactly. with the phrases. Oh, I, I have seen yeah. those ads and it seems good. Yes, they're good because, um, for example, if you know a word, but you don't know how to use, how to use it in a context, that application helps you. Exactly. And then you can see like in context, how to use the, the words or, or the, or the phrases that they use in the, like in real context. Yeah, like a real conversation. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent, Irving, could, that's good. Uh, could you share you. the link? Okay. That's good, yeah, you can share, uh, send it there in the, in the WhatsApp group. And if you can download it, that would be great. So you can learn more vocabulary, more phrases that you can use. And as Irvin said, you can apply them in your conversation and definitely that's going to help you a lot. So good, excellent. So Noemi, how are you? Hi teacher, all is okay at the okay. moment. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what about your, your, your throat? How do you feel about your throat? I feel better. Okay. That's good. Did you did you took any pill? Did you take any pills? Yes. All right. For seven days. Seven days. Wow. 
And do you have medical leave? Yeah. Okay. So you rest. Uh, appeals for COVID. Oh, okay. Yes. All right. <laughs> but they help you. Yes, a uh, lot. Very good. That's good to hear. Francisco, how are you? You're on mute, Francisco. You're on mute. Hey, you're on mute, Francisco. We can hear you. Hello, teacher. Hi. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Uh, no worries. I, I am fine. And you, how are you? I'm very good. Uh, how was your day? Um, is, today is, is, is very hard. Uh, okay. Today it was? It, uh, I was working today. Okay. And, and I, am, I am tired. Okay. Good. So, but very hard. Today hard. was very hard. Today was very hard. Okay, good. So, but you're gonna rest uh, soon. So you're gonna get strength for tomorrow. So good. Okay. Nice, Francisco. Thank you. Great. Good so, good evening. So, uh, thank you very much again to join. Uh, we're going to start. A uh, new class. This is our, let me see, our 13th class. This is our 13th class that we're going to start. And remember that this uh, course is going to end on Tuesday, the 30th. So you must have completed the platform exercises uh, before that day. So I think right now we, we only have Sophia that is having issues. Uh, were you able to, to do the exercise, Sophia, or not? I think, um, I don't know if you have connection problems or your microphone, it's not working. Yeah, I think you may have issues with that, with your microphone or your connection. Okay, so uh, make sure that you have complete the, the exercises before the 30th, so you can get your certificate um, at the end of the course. So <clears throat> today, what we are going to see is we're going to do a recap about some of the topics that we have seen uh, within the, the this curse. And one of the topics that we are going to talk about today, it's about the simple past. So do you remember about the simple past? What do you remember about the simple past? What do we use the simple past for? Any thoughts? When you did something. Exactly. When you did something and it's Finish. Exactly. The activity. Exactly. The, the activity is finished or it's completed. So then it's when we use the simple past to talk about activities, to talk about uh, uh, actions that are completed and ready. So good. So we can use it either in positive, negative, just no question, and WH questions. So can I have one example using uh, the a positive way to say it in the in the simple past. Can you give me an example? I finished the platform. Okay, I finished, <laughs> finished the platform. platform. Good. I okay, I finished too. Good. Excellent. Now in negative. An example with negative. I didn't finish the exercises. Okay, very good. I didn't finish the exercises. Me but... neither. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
One more, one more example with uh, negative. I didn't drink water. Okay, that's bad. Drink water, please. <laughs> Very I good. Didn't, I didn't assist uh, my meeting this morning. Yeah, I didn't assist to the meeting this morning. That's good. All right, so that's uh, how we make it for negative. What about a yes, no question? How we do a yes, no question? Did you finish your homework? <clears throat> Good. What else? Did you have dinner? Uh, no, I, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. One more. Did you practice a tongue twister? Did you practice a tongue twister? <laughs> Excellent. That's correct. And now WH questions. An example with WH question? Where did you play tennis? Uh, why or what? Where? Where uh, did where? you play tennis? Where did you play tennis? Good. Another one? Why did you practice the tongue and twister? <laughs> twister tongue? <laughs> yeah, why did you practice the tongue twister? Yes. <laughs> Good, one more. Why didn't you go to work? Why didn't you go to work? That's correct, good. So that's basically how we do the simple uh, past. So <clears throat> we're gonna do an activity here where we're gonna ask you some questions and um, you will be uh, talking about that at least for one minute, okay? So, I'm gonna put the timer here. I'll let you know once it's done. Um, it's everything going to be in um, in past, okay? Um, I don't have a, a like a roulette here. I would like to have it, but uh, we're gonna start with volunteers. Do we have any volunteers who wants to start with the first question? Just raise your hand or say me. Okay, Noemi, good. So let me show you the first uh, question here we're gonna have. Okay. So this is the first one. So talk about how you met your best friend. Okay. So you ready? Uh, no. Uh, I <laughs> All right. Remember, it's one minute. Okay. So, go. Uh, my best friend is a, a good person. Uh, his name is Delmi. Her name. Her, uh, pardon. Her, her <laughs> name is Delmi. Uh, she is a uh, curly. Okay. And she is tall. And a little fat. Uh, I met her in a, in a school. And at the beginning, we didn't talk much, but uh, as per days, we, we talked a lot. And since the 2005. Okay, since 2005. She is my best friend. Very good, excellent. You got one minute, good. Great job, excellent, Naomi. Great. Okay. All right, any other volunteer for this question, for this topic? Okay, Yolanda. In my case, I met my best friend uh, when I was 13 years old. Wow. Uh, we met uh, in our classes, uh, swim, swimming class. Mm -hmm. Swimming classes. classes. No? Swimming mm -hmm. classes uh, during uh, the end of the year. Okay. Uh, 
then we separate for uh, around 13, no, 39 years. 39 and years? Yes, and oh. now uh, uh, we are a couple. Uh, he's my best friend and uh, he's very, uh, I think he's very uh, special for me because uh, it's very compre comprehensive. Comprehensive. Comprehensive and he uh, understand me and our uh, characters uh, uh, are very different. Okay. But <laughs> it's good for us. Uh, we uh, uh, began uh, our relation uh, I think 10 years ago, um, and now uh, we uh, live together, and well, we are happy, <laughs> I <That>. think, but <laughs> uh, we are, uh, well, he's a teacher, and another lot of things to do, uh -huh. uh, but uh, he's very, I don't know, is a uh, tolerate Tolerante, I don't know. What yeah, is the word? tolerate, a tolerate person. He's very, he's tolerate and he uh, love my dogs. Uh, um, well, uh, we have uh, six daughters because he has a spy and I have one. <laughs> he has five. But, uh, yes. Wow. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, well, but it's good for us. Uh, in this moment, we have a, a, a grandson and granddaughter. Oh, that's well, good. Uh, uh -huh. And well, we are here and it's good for us. <laughs> Great, that's good. Yes. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you, Yolanda. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Very good, excellent. Now we're gonna move to the other question. We have Sofia there, Sofia. Talk about what you cooked yesterday for one minute. Hello. Hi. Uh, talk about what yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I cooked something special because I was celebrate my new cook. Okay, I oh, oh. kitchen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I celebrated my new kitchen. Okay, because of my new kitchen. Good. Yes, I buy um furniture uh, for the kitchen. I bought. Uh, I bought. Uh -huh. Sorry. A furniture for the kitchen and I felt so happy. Good. Um I could chicken roast with rice and that I forget soda <laughs> and what <laughs> and, and soda I, know, I like the soda I okay. like the soda <laughs> I know it's bad for the health but, but I, it's good I love the soda yeah coca-cola is good so, Coca-Cola super cool. <laughs> Excellent. Very it's good. Delicious. Yeah, it's delicious. It's bad, but it's very delicious. Sorry. For the hot, for the yeah, hot. Definitely. When but, you're hot. But it's good. Every scene is good. Bad. <laughs> it's bad. bad. But good. But oh my <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, teacher. Sure. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, Mauricio. Hello. How are you? How are you? Fine, thanks. Great. So talk about what you cooked yesterday. It is very difficult because I'm, I never cook. Okay, so <laughs> talk about what you what you ate yesterday. Okay, well, it's, uh, I ate yesterday. 
uh, let me let me see. Well, at first in the in the in the morning in the in the breakfast, mm -hmm. I ate. Uh, I ate. I ate uh, um, cereal. Um, uh, a little cereal, and, and after that, I uh, a cup of a cup of milk with with coffee. Okay. More coffee than milk. Okay. <laughs> Coffee, then milk, uh -huh. and then uh, I, I, I always eat beans in in uh, in the morning in the breakfast, and, and I think that's it. Ah, and I, I have to close to close to close the the breakfast with bread and jelly and mermelada. Yeah. Uh, Jelly. Okay. So, Good. Uh, that's in the in 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 um uh, in afternoon. In the uh, afternoon. The afternoon. It was it was uh, meat and rice. Uh, and and the, the dinner my and my dinner was very was light with a soup it was a soup with uh, bread and uh, bean soup okay. okay very good excellent thank you mauricio okay. now choose uh somebody else of your classmates choose one to uh, Elvis, okay, very good. So yes, this is, yesterday. So, but we're gonna do this one. Talk about an unforgettable trip you did. Uh, sorry, teacher. What is unforgettable? Unforgettable. It's something that you cannot forget, like something that was very put in your head, como un momento. Or a trip in this case, eh, mm, yeah. inolvidable. Mm. In the time, in whatever time, no necessary yesterday and last week and last month. No, last year. exactly. It could be many years ago. Okay. I might. My mom and uh, unfortunate unforgettable. was a unforgettable right? when was a graduate right? for business was a what is it um when when was a degree in business administration? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, but was we're talking a, about a trip. Do you know what is a trip? A trip. Uh huh. Trip es un viaje. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> uh, mm, yes. Uh, two years, two years ago, I. <laughs> I went to the uh, Chelahu, is a uh, Guatemala, Chelahu, okay. Guatemala, Guatemala. Okay. It's uh, uh, um, a good place. It's uh, very cool. Um, was a unfortunate trip. Okay. And what do you do there? And visit a uh, family. Okay, I visited. I visited a fam family. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent, Elvis. Thank you. Choose one of your classmates. Hey, choose one of your classmates, Elvis. 
Sorry again, please. Yes, can you choose one of your classmates? Say the name of one oh, of, your, of your classmates. Okay. Okay, Maria Ivan. Okay, Maria. Maria, Maria, Maria. Hello, Maria, are you there? Maria? In other person, Francisco Lopez. Okay, Francisco. Talk about an unforgettable trip you did. Um, okay, teacher. But I never trip uh, other country. No, that's fine. It could be a trip within the country. For example, uh, when you went to the beach or when you went to visit um, another uh, department, for example. Okay. Uh, I remember when I, I went to, uh, to uh, Costa del Sol Beach. Okay. Uh, one year ago, remember when uh, when when I went with my family. Okay. Uh, my 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 son, my wife. Um, remember. Uh, um, when arrive uh, arrive at Costa del Sol Beach. Okay, when arrive, we arrived, arrive uh, eight hours at a.m. At eight at eight a.m. A.m. Eight, okay. eight a.m. Arrive in Costa del Sol. Okay. Remember, uh, we. We did eat. Uh, we fish. ate. We ate. We ate uh, fish. Fish fried. Fried fish. Fried fish. Um, uh, we uh, we we drank uh, soda. Okay. And, and all day uh, we we swimming. We swam. We, we swam uh, in the morning, then in, in the afternoon, um, about uh, 3, 3 p.m. We, uh, we come, come, regresar, come regresar. Uh, we, in, we came back. We came back uh, on our, our house. Okay. Uh, arrived at our house about uh, 6 p.m. And okay. was a, an unfor unforgettable trip. Very good. Excellent. Good job, Francisco. Great. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Excellent. That's very good. So that's basically, we have some more. Maybe we're going to uh, share it later. Um, but that's actually how we use the, the simple uh, past in order to explain or to talk about things that we did in the past. Remember that we have um, a, the verbs in um, the, the normal verbs, the regular verbs, I'm sorry, and the irregular verbs whenever we use them to talk in the past. So right now we're gonna do a reading activity. Uh, tomorrow, if you don't know, tomorrow in the United States, it's the, the Thanksgiving holiday or the Turkey day for to, um, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow day it's uh, November the 25th and they celebrate Thanksgiving. So what we are going to do right now, it's we're gonna read about Thanksgiving and after we read this, then we are going to uh, have some questions, all right? So uh, we're gonna read this paragraph we all together. Uh, I'm gonna be asking some of you to 
start reading it so we can go ahead and uh, read this whole paragraph together. Okay, Yolanda. The first Thanksgiving was in 1621. Mm -hmm. the, no. Yeah, 1621. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the pilgrims uh, were new to America and did not know how to grow food or hunt animals. Many of them died. The Native, Native Americans Native. helped Native. 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 Native Americans. Native mm. Americans helped the pilgrims. Thank you. The Native Assay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Now, uh, Irvin, can you continue? The Native Americans taught them how to grow corn and pumpkins and beans. They also taught the pilgrims how to fish and hunt. The next year, the pilgrims had a big harvest. The pilgrims were very thankful and grateful. Thank you. The, okay. Thank you, Irving. Noemi. The pilgrims had a huge fest to celebrate the new harvest and to give thanks to the Indians. The feast last last for three days. This is how Thanksgiving starts. Thank you. Vanessa. Okay, teacher. Thanksgiving Day is a harvest celebration. Traditionally, it was a time to give thanks for a give for a big harvest. It is also a holiday to express appreciation to family and friends. Thank you. This is okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. Monica. Okay, this is why it's it is celebrate with a big family fest. Now, thank you, is it celebrates in of a fortune for it's it's a fortress day of November. Of the fourth. Fourth. The fourth. Uh -huh. The fourth day, Thursday of November. Thank you, Vince. It's a time when families come together and eat a lot of food. Thank you. Raul, continue. I think Raul is not here. Okay, uh, Judith. I think she's not there too. Mauricio. Um, they eat big turkey and cranberry and pumpkin pie. It is a day of gratitude, gratitude and appreciation. Everybody talk about what they are thankful for. Many are thankful for family, friends, and good food and a good things in their life. What are what are you what are you thankful for? Thank you. Thank you, Mauricio. So this is the explanation how Thanksgiving started. Uh, let me ask you first, do you have any question, any word there that you don't know the meaning or you don't know what exactly it means? Uh, I have a question about the pronunciation of I don't know, feast or fest? Fest. It's like, like fest. For, for fest, festival. Fest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Pilgrim is a, 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 a the, the pilgrims were new to America. And the... So pilgrims are like the people that get, that get to to the United States to from from England, I think. Okay, peregrino. Yep. Exactly. Any other word? Yes, teacher. Harvest. Harvest. Harvest is uh, cosecha. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Teacher. Yes. What is Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving, uh, the, the translation is Dia de Gracias. 
So, Thanksgiving es como, si lo traducimos literal, es gracias dadas o dando gracias. And Thanksgiving como tal, it's a holiday. It's a celebration in the United States uh, where they do celebrate eating and with a turkey um, and they thanks about the things they have. Okay, thank you. Sure. Any other question? No? All right. So, uh, one more thing before we move with the uh, questions. Uh, what are you thank thankful for? Do you have anything to be thankful? Uh, for example, this year? For health. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely. Someone else? Yeah, for me, I thankful because for my baby that okay. is healthy and this year be her her first uh, her first year, so I thankful. Okay, very good. That's good. Any other? I am thankful I graduated from college. Good. You graduated this year? Yep. Excellent. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Very good. Mauricio? Yes, we have to give uh, thankful for all that we have every day. Uh, and and uh, for we have uh, that we have uh, that we live in a in a in a good country with a better, uh, I don't know how do you say, clima. We have a, a very- Weather. Uh, normal weather, yes, normal weather. Sorry. Okay. No. Very good, yeah, definitely. So there's many things that we are, uh, we have to be thankful for. Sometimes we forget about the things we have uh, because of the stress, because of work, because of problems, because of many things. Uh, but it's it's actually very uh, there's many things around for what we can be thankful and well in these years for example just to be here uh, and be in front of the computer or your cell phone that's something to be thankful uh, there's many people that have been getting infected with this virus and since last year we have been like struggling to to be alive. And so being here, it's thankful. So thank you very much for your thoughts. And definitely we need to be thankful for everything we have in our lives. So let's go to the questions. So these are the questions here. Um, the questions are based on the paragraph you just read, okay? So, Let's try to uh, answer the question. I'm going to give you uh, three minutes so you can figure it out. Like if you can remember for what we just uh, read and then we're going to be checking the, the answers, okay? So you have three minutes.
So we're going to have one more minute. Okay, so let's check here the answers. Uh, we're gonna make them together. Uh, for example, number one, when was the first Thanksgiving celebrated, Yolanda? The first Thanksgiving celebrate? No, was celebrated uh, in 1621. Very good, excellent. That's correct. Number two, how did the Native Americans uh, help the pilgrims? Sophia. Uh, the Native Americans taught them how to grow corn and pumpkins and beans. Very good. Excellent. That's correct. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah. Number three, the pilgrims were grateful for a big harvest. Harvest. That's correct. Number four, how many days was the first Thanksgiving? Three. Three days. Three days, exactly. How do people celebrate Thanksgiving now? Do you remember? Dinner. I'm sorry? With a big dinner, eating turkey and cranberry and other things. Exactly. That's correct. And pumpkin pie. And pumpkin pie, yes. Exactly. Uh, when is Thanksgiving celebrated? Yolanda? For, for Thursdays of November. The fourth Thursday of November. Exactly, the fourth Thursday of November. And uh, what is on this one, and I just uh, look for the pronunciation is feast. It's not fast, it's feast. Ah, huh. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, uh, well, for me, it was uh, uh, different. Mm -hmm. it's so good. it's feast. feast. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> so what is feast? What is the meaning of feast? A big celebration. A big celebration, like a festival. Yes, that's correct. And what is common Thanksgiving food? I think that uh, Maurice already said it, but let's say Turkey. it again. Okay. Turkey. El pavo. <laughs> El mero pavo. El Teacher, turkey. but the Latin American uh, families in, in the United States prefer uh, chicken. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> because it is the, I don't know, a flavor is sabor, verdad? Yep. The flavor is very different. <laughs> it's different. Uh, I think like the, the chicken, it's like salty, like more salty or saltier than the than the turkey. The turkey, it's like, I don't know, it's good, but it's not the same as chicken. Chicken. But it's, I think it's the pan of the sausages. Sausages? Yes, no, the, the sausages. The sauce. Yes. The sauce. The sauce. <laughs> La salsa. It yeah. depends on the so sauce. Oh, the mm -hmm. sauce. Yeah. But we need the... Uh, I don't know. Uh, we, need, we, need, we need the recaudo, definitely. No, we need the asesoría <laughs> from, uh, I don't know, Raúl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, from Raúl. We will need to have his, his mentoring. I think he's not here. But, yeah, we will definitely need, need him. So he can tell us how to make the recaudo. Recaudo is good. And recaudo is around the corner. We just like a couple of days to be on Christmas and have our, our panes con chumpe and panes with, with chicken. So, yeah. Panes con recaudo. Of course. <laughs> and recalentado, the best. So, yeah, definitely. And, well, we already did the what are you thankful for? So, we're not, we're going to pass that question. So, good job. Good job. 
Uh, these type of activities for reading activities is very good because you get new, new vocabulary, you remember about the things, and then we can discuss about the topic. So then we have the, the getting new vocabulary, then we speak, we practice the speaking as well in the target language, and as well, we get like a remembering about the things we uh, read. So uh, that's teacher, pretty good. Yep. Teacher, I think the pilgrims are, were a group of, I don't know, religious. Oh, really? Yes, and um, they came uh, from England. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Well, I, 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 in the, I, no sé, the siglo, I don't remember what is Century. the word. The, the in the uh, 16th century. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. All right. But it's a group of religious. It's not like the the, the colonizer people. No, no, okay. because they. I I think. Uh, I no sé cómo we. They ellos huyeron. Uh, they run away. <laughs> they run away from okay. England. Or, oh okay. All right, good to know. I, I didn't know exactly what was the the pilgrims. I thought they were like the, the colonizer, like uh, Christopher Columbus and their people, but I think it, they are different ones. So good. Excellent. So uh, what we're gonna do right now, it's we're gonna do groups. Um, so we can, this is the activity we're going to do. I'm gonna be putting into the chat uh, and let me try these here. I think everybody can see the chat, right? Let me let me make a trial. Can everybody see the message in the chat? But here in in yeah, teacher, in, you yeah. wrote hello, right? Yep, exactly. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna be posting here in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna put, for example, a verb. Um, and let's say, for example, I will put, I, I will make groups and then I'm gonna put the verb, for example, a go. So then you will have to start talking with your partners using that, starting your conversation with that verb, but in past. So you will see, you will, you were gonna do with, with went. So it will start saying, um, well, uh, last week I went to the supermarket because I needed to buy some things and then you start your story. And then the next person in your group, if keep with the, with the, with another story with the same, starting with the same birth. And then I'm going to send another birth and then you start conversations again in pass with the other verbs that I will throw in you in the chat. Okay. So let me make the groups here. Let's see. I don't know why I don't see here the oh here it is. Okay, so join to the groups there and I will send you the the birth in a minute. Sophia? Sophia, could you enter to the group?
experience because the game was about, uh, I don't know if you have played the uh, horror games in the dark with headphones and there are some jump scares uh, when the enemy is following you and you have to escape from that. It's kind of stressful, but it is good because uh, you know you are a little bit excited to escape from, from the enemy, enemy from the game and it helps you to develop uh, quick thinking you know, to find a way to, to, to win or to go to another stage. I Good. don't have information about me because I don't have time for play. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but you can play, um, uh, you can play, uh, you can play the music or you can play uh, a sport sport or a uh, movie everything. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday i i did the handicraft for birthday celebration after after work normal normally my my schedule is is the same I came back home uh, around 50, 30 p.m. And only I, I took a shower and then I continue working with my handicraft. Yesterday I did some butterflies in different columns. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, it's your turn. With the bird plate. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how many times I I have that I didn't play a, a game, something. <laughs> uh, but in this year, I was so obsessed with the game Candy Crush. So okay. when I... When I have the time, when my baby get to sleep and he she take her nap, I <laughs> I was playing the Candy Crush, but I don't know how to explain you. I was in the level fifty hundred, no fifty, yeah fifty hundred, and in this same year I. So it's a five hundred. Five hundred, yeah. Okay. I wow. was in that I was in this level when I started in this year. And 500. Yeah, 500. <laughs> and and now I I don't remember what is the level that I have but it's that I am 1000 I that I am 1000 I don't know about that say 500 I think I was so upset with that. Wow. <laughs> I yeah. have a question for you, Monica. Yeah, tell me. Did you play with your daughter? No. <laughs> I, but with my daughter, but like, como mamás así de, onta bebé, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I played with my baby. But like the typical on time of it. <laughs> something like that. All right, I'm gonna throw the another the, the other verb here. Very good. Good job with play. Okay. So here's the other one. Okay. Clean. Yep. No, I mean you. Hi. <laughs> hey, Krisha, you were talking about Cinderella. Yeah, clean is the verb. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, and the last weekend, because it's only on weekend that I clean the house. <laughs> uh, I then on Sunday I clean the house <laughs> and I washed the clothes. <laughs> Mm, I don't know. 
How can I say about clean? For um, me, my I clean my this this week. Last week, um, I have to clean my motorcycle. Motorcycle. It's a motorcycle in a car. Both, both. Uh, I don't know. Medio de transporte. Uh, my transportation have to wash. Okay. For wash, because uh, we need to have a, a a little a little. Clean. I don't know, brillante. Uh, oh, shine. 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 Mm -hmm. Maria, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, clean. Yes. Uh, last week, I was clean. Cleaning. Um. Last week, I cleaned. Last week I clean. Yep. I clean my house and okay. all my house and they order my clothes and then um I was cooked. Okay, I cooked. I cook. I cooked. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Yes. So I, I'm going to throw the last verb here. So you can practice Go. with that one. Yes. But when? So practice with that verb. I, I went to Guatemala. The this this Sunday, but unfortunately, <laughs> good. Only for one day, Antigua Guatemala. In Antigua Guatemala, all is expensive. The coffee is delicious. I but the artesanía. I don't know what you say. Uh, Are expensive. I think they're like a. And I don't remember. Let me look for it. Artesanías. Artesanías. Oh, they are expensive in Guatemala, in Antigua Guatemala. And Just handicraft. Handicraft. Mm -hmm. They are expensive. A yeah. lot. But the coffee is delicious because <laughs> prepared with the other thing. Bar bartender on oh, Arnold. Yeah, bartender. Uh huh. And make a um, come, dibujito, draw, <laughs> draw with the drawings. coffee, drawings in the coffee, and beautiful, and all is nice. But unfortunately, the traffic when I came, it was. Nasty. Very nasty, yes. Nasty. <laughs> because, All right. Oh, an accident. Huh? Yeah. And another one. On the border. On the border. There is. Oh, oh, no. Yeah, complicated for for fun. <laughs> All right, very good. So it's nine o'clock. So we're gonna go back to the main room, so we can finish the class. Room. All right. Okay. So let's go there. All right. 
So it seems like uh, Christian and Vanessa, they are ready to sleep, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's it's nine. It's nine p.m. So, but you're gonna go to sleep right away. No worries. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna wait just for the rest of the people so we can finish the class. So uh, thank you very much. We are done with the class today. Um, uh, tomorrow's still is going to be a review. We're going to be keep practicing with the simple past and other topics that we saw within the course. So um, thank you very much for being here. Uh, I send you there a video in the WhatsApp group. Uh, you can watch it whenever you have time. Uh, it's something about we, we just talk a little bit in regards of about stress and about the problems and things we have sometimes. And sometimes we take a lot of time to take of them, those problems. But at the end of the day, we should put the glass down. You're gonna understand that when you listen to the, to the video. So you can watch it, leave a comment if you want there in the WhatsApp group. And that's all for today. Do you have any questions so far? Oh, excellent. we need to play bachillerato again. Right, bachillerato stuff again. We're going to play it tomorrow. We're going to play yes. it tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay, very teacher, good. Yeah. When you said that the travel language, the tongue, the tongue twister. The tongue twister. Uh, did you have that? Uh, the... Yeah. Do you want that I share the, the tongue twister in the chat as well? Yes, because okay. I, I I can't. You want to practice the the Peter Pickett the Pickett Pickett Pickett. I was trying to memorize. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I will send them in the chat group so you can practice them. Uh, whenever you have time. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Uh, Thank you, teacher. Take Thank care. You. Thank you, teacher. You You're welcome. Bye. See you. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Take care. Hey, mira, no